Welcome back everybody. Welcome if you are new today. We're in the 305 sprint cars here at Weed Sport. Uh, they fixed turn four, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, have the wing turned up all the way. Where is it at? Yeah, have the wing at zero. Have it as forward as possible to start out. Track came in pretty clean. Be able to run pretty quick. If I can get like a low nine in qualifying, I'll be happy here. Fastest time I've ran so far is a low eight, like an 808. But this track's a little bit worn out, so I'm hoping we can have a decent time. I've hit this inside wall in turn one a bunch. That was super close. These cars are weird. You kind of want to like go in the low side like that and then drift up off of there. Oh, I about hit that wall. That's going to be as good of a lap as I'm going to get. 908, I'll take it. I will take a 908. I wanted to try to get a low nine or into the eight if possible, but I got daringly close to the inside wall, both corners. And I actually got the pole by half a tenth, which I'm very surprised about so far. Very surprised by that, to be fair. The three car was the fastest and I was like half of a, a tenth behind him or so. I want to go back and see that because that was super close because I got daring close in both corners Going down there, nearly hit the wall. It looked like it almost bounced off. Came up high off the corner. It seems like these cars, you kind of want to keep straight and do that. And then down here in turn four, they, you could see that they fixed the wall and I got super close to it. <laughs> but that's what I like to do here is be able to run down there like that. But still got a few people left to qualify. Let's see if we can hold on to this pole. All right, we held on to the pole, which is awesome because I think it's going to be kind of tough to pass here unless somebody messes up really badly. I'm gonna keep the wing at zero for now. Might move it back to one or two, possibly. That'll probably be the furthest back I go. Cause I don't expect to go too far back here at this track. Unless we like really wear out this track. I think this might be the first time I've been on pole in a sprint car. I'm not 100% sure, to be fair. But I, I know I'm not great in the sprint cars. I'm more of a late model guy. Speaking of that, I'll be running the World of Outlaws Super Late Models at Knoxville. I know in my last race, uh, in the ARCA race, I asked you guys if you want me to run this or the Super Late Models, but I don't really care for New Hampshire, so I'm kind of just going to run three dirt races this week instead, because I don't really care to run New Hampshire. I don't enjoy that track, just like the flatness and it's just big corners for a flat track. I just don't enjoy it. But if you guys enjoy this kind of racing, like and subscribe, so I know that you guys are enjoying watching this kind of racing. That would be greatly appreciated. We're super close to 250 subscribers, which I thank you guys a ton, each and every one of you that subscribe to me and watch my videos. All I want to do is entertain you guys, and I appreciate you guys for watching them, and hopefully they're entertaining you. And maybe you guys learn a little bit out of them too. I try to do my best in every race. But yeah, now this uh, is gone down here in turn four. I'm happy about that. You can actually run down there now. There's like a little bit of texture glitch where it like looks like you see through the hole of the ground, see through the earth, <laughs> but that's okay. I'd rather the wall not be there and that small texture glitch than the wall, the invisible wall be in there because <laughs> that was awful. But hopefully we can get a good start here. Third place is really backed off of me. I don't know if he's going to try to like time a run on me or I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm going to try to get a decent start here. Five off, man. Hey, start off. Be ready. Got out to a decent size lead to start with. All I need to do is not hit this inside wall at all this race. Or either corner, this whole race. Qualifying, I just went full bore, full throttle through the, the corners. I'm going to lift a little bit in the corners to try not to hit the walls. And we'll see how we do. But I'd rather be safe than sorry and smack the inside wall and then wreck half the field because I'm in the front. <laughs> you can hit the inside wall a little bit in turn one. I've done it a few times. It doesn't really mess up your car that much, but you're going to lose a ton of speed is the problem. That's why I don't want to do it. And I don't want to mess up my steering at all. I'm kind of just staying a little bit further off it than I would did in qualifying because qualifying I went as close as possible to those walls I'm surprised I didn't hit either really thought I was going to but we seem to be doing pretty well right now happy about that these cars you really just gotta try to keep straight they don't have too much horsepower behind them 
Kind of why I'm running a little bit of the outside two and three and coming down in four, try to keep the uh, speed up, not bog down too bad. I think that's why you want to go wide off of two as well, to try to keep the momentum of these cars up. Don't know if going outside, going in the one, is a good idea. They wrecked or something behind me. Because there's a huge gap back behind me now. Oh yeah, they wrecked. They definitely wrecked. Just go wide, stay away from them, because I don't know where he's going to go. That, that sucks for them a lot. I don't know what happened. I think somebody might have come up off the corner or hit the wall, uh, or hit the inside wall and came up. I'm not 100% sure. But we got almost a two-second gap back right now. It's not too bad. I have enjoyed this track since it came out. It's been a lot of fun. Had some decent success here. And then they come back high, thank you. Don't know why they wanted to do that. But I was going to go inside of them, they started going down the track. So they left the outside. I started going outside. They started slowly coming back up. <laughs> but I don't know where the hell I want them to go. It seemed like they hit the wall off of two. Because that's easy to do also at this track. But 30 laps here. No cautions. 305s obviously. As you can see there's been multiple wrecks. And there's been no cautions. That three car was a part of it. So I know it was the top two that wrecked. Because he was very quick. I just want to stay away from the inside walls right now. Like, it's getting really worn out anyways down there. I don't want to have to let off and potentially hit those walls. I'm just going to stick outside. I could probably go inside one and two. It's not that bad still. And just drift up because second place is catching me a little bit because of that, I feel like. Or I'm just not running three and four as well. I just need to run the right way and keep the car straight and stop getting sideways coming off the corners. So I don't want to blow this lead. That'd be awful. They are running pretty good behind me though. I don't have too much experience in these cars in general, let alone on this track. I did some practice on this track, but it didn't get very, very worn out like it is, like it is now, which isn't even that. Oh god, he wrecked. Okay, he went down. I, that scared me. I just completely got out of it because I did not know where that car was going. But yeah, I didn't get on a two worn out of a track in a practice session. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Don't get the right rear up into the uh, wall. That car is just sitting there though, waiting to get hit at this point, pretty much. I'm going to start going low again in 1 and 2 and just slide up through the slick, I guess. See how that works out for a couple laps? The outside might just be quicker at this point. Or I can let off a little bit more and just stick the bottom. That could honestly work pretty decent as well. You're not going to have as much of a run down the straightaway, but you're going to cut a lot of the uh, space you're running at. That guy hit that inside wall, it looks like. Looks like the six car trying to do the same thing. They've got a pretty good gap back to second. I really don't want to have to deal with lap cars too much. We have nine laps left though. Just let off enough just to slide through the corner good. Oh god, the lap car, where are you going? He like slowed way up going into that corner. Okay, he went way high. Let me buy, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I think he was just trying to stay out of the way, but then saw I was running the high side in three and four and freaked out. Try what happened. Oh yeah, running this low side in one and two is starting to work pretty well actually. But it seems like I'm getting away a little bit off of two or through one and two just because I'm shortening up the track. I'm not trying to run too risky on the outside either. Right where I know the quickest line is, like right along that grip. I just don't want to go up and smack the wall off the corner. I think I got kind of lucky getting the pole, to be fair. I ran a hell of a lap. I got a little lucky, though, not hitting the walls. I really thought I was going to with how close I got. 
and then that kind of set me up for just getting a good start having control of it which is really needed in races like this where there's no cautions and then second and third wreck which i need to go back and see what happened with them they wrecked like lap four or five of the race somewhere pretty early Yeah, I'm not trying to get too close to the outside wall. I'm not. I'm trying to stay away from all the walls for the most part. I'm kind of just going in in the slick, into one, and just kind of rolling through it. It's working for me for now. I'll take it. I think I've won once or twice in the 305 sprints. I think I've won one time in the sprints before, but I'm very surprised with how well this went for me. I think it's mainly because those guys wrecked. I think if second and third didn't wreck each other. I think they would have had something for me for sure because they were very quick and I'm not super experienced on a really worn out track here in these cars. So I don't know 100% where the quick line is, but hell, I'll take this win. A win's a win, wherever it comes. Hell yeah. It's always nice good to get run, it. Austin. Thank you. It's always nice to get a good run in the sprint cars. If I didn't get held up on the start, I might have had something for you. I don't think I was that much faster then. I need to go back and see what even happened. I think the second and third wreck it looked like to me, but I couldn't see. It was in my mirror. Yeah, I got I got screwed on the start. People pulled down in front of me, but second and third ran into each other and took out like fourth and I barely two five. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, I have to go back and see what happened. Do a nice little burnout on these things in this grass. Tires are just spinning like hell though, so you can't get a good burnout, I feel like. I might be able to on this uh, concrete. Since the tires are spinning so much. Oh, not really, but I'll just burn the tires up on this wall. <laughs> Did not mean to end up here, but it worked. I'll take it. That was a lot of fun. I wanna see I wanna see how much tire smoke I was getting there at the end. Actually a good amount, cool. Alright, let's go back to the very beginning, see what the hell happened behind me. I had a really good start. Second and third were battling hard as hell. Five and the three car. What happened between them? It came pretty quick. Three car was very fast in practice. He started catching the uh, five car, it looked like. He's running a little lower than them. Almost caught his left rear there. Very close. Backed off down the straightaway. Got a huge run through that corner. Stayed off of him, though. Didn't wreck. Five car is definitely slower at this point. The three car is faster. I think the three car probably would have won this race if he didn't end up in this wreck because he was super fast. I don't think I had the uh, tempo or the pace towards the end of the race to really win that against the uh, best guys in here. Even though I was car number one, but that's just because my dirt rating is pretty good because I'm pretty good in the uh, late models, I'd say. Three car goes low, just slides up. Okay, so the three car slid up. Oh, and then hits the wall. Yeah, three car tried really hard in that corner. Either to throw a slider or I think he either went to go throw a slider or just, yeah, he went to go throw a slider. Didn't clear him at all. Clipped the five. He just kept going up the wall, smacked the wall. Five car is nowhere to go. The five didn't do anything wrong, which is unfortunate for him. Neither did the six. And I ended up laughing him towards the end. He had still decent pace. And then the seven car just scoots right on by. That was terrifying for him. I want to go to his in car and see how that was. Like, just seeing that play out. Because this was terrifying, and probably. You see the three car run up into the five. You lost sight of him, and you just see him flipping down the straightaway. Holy shit, that'd be terrifying. But way to get by that. I think the three car, yeah, he wrecked all the way to the inside. He was stuck down here for a little bit, I think. Because I came back around and went by him. Yeah, there I go. And he's just spinning out. That grass is awful. Like, it's it's so hard to control on the grass. It's not easy. And then, anybody else wreck through that? I don't really know. Because the, uh, these guys didn't even show up. What the hell? Like, these guys never even turn a lap at all. They never even race. So it was literally a nine car race. The three and the five took each other. Well, the, okay, what happened with you? The uh, three took out three guys. This guy just got sideways, it looks like. And the guy behind him... Oh yeah, he goes up, hits the wall. Nine car was going really low to try to avoid it, but the four car was coming down. That's unfortunate for the nine. And then I'm pretty sure he's the one that flipped in front of me, wasn't he? Wasn't he the one that flipped in front of me? I think it was. Go to the next lap. Was he the one that flipped in front of me? Yeah, this is. 
Because I was coming up here. He went way too high there. That scared the shit out of me because I had no clue where his car was going. Then he clips that inside wall. That will turn you around real quick. But yeah, not a lot else really happened, I guess. He went a lap down from that wreck. He went a lap down from the wreck. The nine car uh, was a little bit off pace, but then when he got ran, when he ran to that four car, it definitely slowed him down a lot. Uh, five car, he kind of got screwed from the three. Eleven, I think, was just running his race. He, he got a solid fourth. He'll gain a ton of I rating. Ten car will get a ton of I rating. He went from eighth to third. Damn, how the hell did that happen? Was it like mainly because of the wreck? He's in sixth there. He's in seventh there. He must have had a good restart or something. Because he went from 8th to 3rd. That's, that's driving it, at least. Like, that's getting through the field. How far was he behind 2nd? He was like 2 he was like two seconds behind 2nd. Dude, that's not too bad. But he was right with the 7 on the start. 7 went from 5th to 2nd. Uh, because of the 3 car pile up. So that's unfortunate for them. Uh, I'll take the win, regardless. That's going to give us a decent amount of high rating, I guess. It'll probably give us like 20, 30 or so. He hit the wall there. But I'm happy with how we ran. Uh, just tried to stay consistent, stay off the walls. They took each other out behind me. The three car at least took out three guys. So it's unfortunate for them. Um, very confused why these three never even showed up. They're going to lose a good amount of I rating, especially the two car being down there. So hopefully we can gain a decent amount with uh, some higher number cars down here. But I know the 10 and 11 and even the 7 up here is going to get a lot of I rating. So it's going to steal away from us a little bit, but that's all right. I'll take the win, but let's go see what we end up getting out of this one. All right, results are in. Strength of field was just under 2,000, which uh, kind of makes sense. I know there was two splits, though, because uh, there was about, like, 24, 25 that registered for it, and we had 12 in ours, so, yeah, there's 24 at least. 23 to 24, something like that. They always give the top split an extra guy if there was an odd number, but, yeah, three of them never even uh, showed up. Lost 100, lost 64, lost 49. Very surprised by that. Uh, I didn't even notice that when we went green or anything i didn't notice that at all like usually i look to see if people haven't qualified if they're even in the session but i never even looked in this one but we gained 36 out of it almost back up to 4200 i will take that trying to get back up there we did have the fastest lap as well which isn't that surprising because uh three car really never got cleared of the five i think he would have probably ran a quicker time if he wasn't stuck behind the five in the beginning I think he was I think he was faster than me for sure. Other than that, we might have had pace to finish second to him, but he took out the five and the six at the same time, which is unfortunate for them two. They just took both of them out of the race completely. So I'll take the win. Another dirt win. Not too bad. I don't even know what number that is for me at all. Like I think I'm in like the forties or fifties, but I've done like hundreds and hundreds of dirt races, like four hundred. Hang on, let me go look actually. I honestly don't even know what uh my stats are to be fair not a clue in the world but i do like uh seeing 499 on the safety that's really nice but you can kind of see my progression through dirt uh came out kind of in 2017 didn't really run it too much until the end of 2018 and i just slowly gradually went up had a big decline if you guys are watching me towards the end of uh last year i really was sucking out and then started bringing it back up at the beginning of this year which is nice uh dirt wins that's 55 that might be number 56 i don't know if this one's counted on there yet so i think that's 55 potentially but I, you can see i've had almost 500 races i don't win that often at all especially on the oval side i do even worse but i do my best i do the best i can uh i like seeing my top my last uh, 10 races in my name a few times that's always nice because that doesn't happen all the time i used to, i had a long streak where all i did was run oval didn't win a lot in that as you can see three percent of the time on dirt it's about 11 percent right now but this year has been good to me i've done very good this season already more wins uh, i have about nine less starts but i have four more wins which is nice so i'm doing really good on dirt this season uh this year at least more not just this season but you can kind of see my progression through there. So, kind of the same thing on oval. Uh, it kind of stagnates out for a long period of time because I didn't run for a while. But uh, dirt is a little different. Uh, I did I did not run iRacing racing for a while. That's probably like this long line there and a little bit here. But uh, done a lot the last year over a little over a year, yeah. Because I think I started doing YouTube about this time right here about a year ago. So appreciate you guys for watching as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this race also. Uh, let me know how your guys' races are going this week, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.